Every now and then For eternity God bless the day when He gave me you I'm gonna pray with you Walk with you Stay with you until the end I'm gonna laugh with you Cry with you Breathe with you All my days The road may be rough Vague and dark Bleak and tough I promise to Cherish you Dear friends, today let us reflect on the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19, verses 3 to 12, wherein Jesus gives us what an ideal marriage is. It's something little different. The Jewish ideal gives us the basis of Christian marriage. In marriage, husband and wife are consecrated to each other. The one becomes the exclusive possession of the other. And this is a Jewish idea. And for this reason, Jesus said, For the sake of marriage, a man leaves his father and mother and cleaves to his wife. And the husband and wife become one flesh because the husband and wife become so totally one. If this is the God's ideal of marriage, according to the book of Genesis, the ideal of Jesus is restated in today's gospel. First and foremost, this total unity, what we call marriage, means that marriage is not given for one act in life. However important that act may be, but for the totality, for all. That is, while sex is the supremely important part of marriage, it is not the whole of it. Secondly, marriage is the total union of two personalities. In marriage, two people find the completing of their personalities. Therefore, marriage should not narrow down one's life. On the other hand, it should complete the life of one another. Thirdly, my dear friends, more practically, we can say marriage must be a sharing of all the circumstances of life. Unless two people are prepared to face the routine of life as well as the glamour of life together, marriage will be a failure and fourthly all this leads us to a final practical conclusion the basis of marriage according to Jesus is togetherness and the basis of togetherness is nothing other than considerateness to consider each other important to be considerate to one another if marriage is to be a success the partners must always be thinking more of each other than of themselves therefore my dear friends the true basis of marriage Rather, I would say Christian marriage is not 
complicated but it is simply the love which thinks more of the happiness of others than it thinks of its own. It's love which is preached to serve. It is love which is proud to serve. It is love which is able to understand. It is love which is able to forgive. Ultimately, marriage entails a Christ-like love. I'm gonna pray with you, walk with you, stay.